Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing a balance world today. It's a map by Debra and we already know we're in Nigeria because of this guy right here. Where in Nigeria are we? Who knows? Probably out by Lagos. Uh, we do have water to our south and what appears to be to our north, but mountain? Mountains? We're fucked. We're fucked. I, I, I've never seen mountains in Nigeria before. And if I have, I've never paid attention to it. Uh, we are on a major highway, so we are going to look for signs that obviously point us to a major city. Something that says, I don't know, Lagos would be nice. Uh, if we find anything else, we can we can probably use it to try to figure out where we are. Not a lot of Nigeria is covered, so if we are able to find a town name, there's only a limited area that we have to look. Uh, and knowing my luck, the one place we're not going to look is the place that this town is going to be located. Uh, I'm surprised we really haven't seen anything yet. I feel like by now we should have at least seen some type of exit sign or something but i'm not seeing really too much of anything lan ray shitu motors probably not a town probably looking more like the name of a person although a lot of places in the united states will have uh, town names listed on car dealerships it's always a good little tip uh and that is definitely going on geoguesser well not geoguesser geotips uh speaking of geotips I am currently working on a generic, and when I mean generic, I really mean generic, um, United States, why there are so many unique phone numbers and license plates and road signs and everything that we need a generic US as well as everything else. Hold the fuck on. Are you sure your kids are in school? Use Sam's to track them. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That uh, I'm not okay with that. You guys might be. I'm not. I I'm one of those people. I don't like you know giving any information to anybody who doesn't need it. Hell, I don't even unlock my phone with my thumbprint. I have a, I have an iPhone. You know, I'm one of those iPhone scum in the world. I don't even use the fingerprint or the face recognition at all. Uh, so I, I'm not one of those fans that will... Uh, and we're in Accra. Uh, one of the other places that has coverage. I, I'm not one of those fans of, you know, giving the government a little bit more information than they need. And yet... <laughs> Uh, you want to make sure your kids are in school? Let's find out together. Uh, I feel like this is going to be Hong Kong. I feel like we've ended up in places like this in Hong Kong before. Uh, and if this is going to be Hong Kong, it's going to be north. This general area. Uh, we'll just throw it down and hope for fucking luck. Uh, we're going to look, obviously, for clues. Uh, the first thing is the sign, which has English translations, as well as what I can tell is not kanji. Kanji being obviously uh, from Japan. Does that mean that it can't be Japan or Korea? Not really. I feel like that language though would have been a little bit rounded if it was Korea and a little less complex if it was Japan. So I feel like Hong Kong is the play here. We also do have plenty of tall buildings all around us, just not where we're currently located. Uh, are we gonna be able to figure a way out of here? Maybe if we're lucky. But we're kind of, we're struggle busting it the entire way today. Field of Lavender, that's kind of nice. I can see that being on an extraordinary world. You know, Lavender Fields. So, we'll just keep going though. Maybe we could find something that says Hong Kong. We have a sign that has no English whatsoever. Ah, uh, from what I could tell though, we might be on one of these islands. The Aberdeen Country Park, hear me out. The city's to our north. The city to the north. 
in the reserve. We saw bodies of water. Could be over here. Could be over here. Dragon's Back Hong Kong Trail. Uh, could it be over here, though? Yeah, these bodies of water might be a little bit better. You know what? We're going to go South Island. We're just guessing. Fuck it. Uh, 17 miles. It ends up being way further north at the Hong Kong Wetland Park. Uh, Scribble is getting nearly a perfect score. So the city we are seeing is Shenzhen, not Hong Kong. But we're still in Hong Kong, so we get the country right, I suppose. Uh, feels like low camera. We're going to see a different... Yeah, it's low camera. Uh, looks like we're on the right-hand side of the road, so this should be Switzerland, but this does not feel like Switzerland whatsoever. Is this going to be Japan? It is going to be Japan. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely. Uh, are we going to be able to figure out where in Japan we are? Maybe we need a blue sign overhead with a guitar pick. A phone number to give us a general region. And that's a 2-3, but that's not long enough to be a real telephone. Obviously it is, but it doesn't have the area code for us to then be able to use to our advantage. Feels rather flat. I didn't see any cabbage. Hokkaido cabbage, which has become part of a meme. Uh, I do see what appears to be, and it's gone. I thought there was a blue sign down there. A gas station, no phone number, no phone number, but hours, and no phone numbers. Fuck, man. I do want to go to Japan one day, but I want to go to Japan to buy a car. Uh, I think I've mentioned it before. I want a R34 Skyline. They're not legal in the United States until 2024, uh, and if that's the case, then there's not going to be many left. Uh, so I would definitely go to Japan and buy a car. But I'm going to have to wait until 2024 when I'm a, a big timer, you know, where I could go to Japan, film me going to Japan, and uh, show the world off, you know. We're finding a lot of twos that start, so I'm wondering if that's going to put us near Hokkaido. Although, there's the first one we get, and that's definitely up here by Sendai. Because uh, this is the ones and this is the twos. The two four, not really that helpful. Uh, but it, I guess it kind of makes sense. We were in a forest. We just... Ichinoseki? Fuck it. Why not? Here's another 2-4. We know the general regions, but we don't know the exact regions that each phone number is for. And that's a problem. There's the first overhead blue sign we've seen all around. And they're hexagons. Uh, and that's not good. Uh, Liat Litate? Itate? And Kashima? on hexagonal 74 now we might not even be in the correct region but it's in this general area and if we could see either of those from a distance that would help us Kitakiti. uh but we didn't see anything from a distance and that's a problem that's a capital i so it's itate i don't see it we might not have zoomed in enough that's 100% plausible. We didn't see any hexagonal roads, so oops. Uh, Odate, and actually it ends up being a little bit further south in Mina Mishoma over by regular Soma Iwaki but I don't see the two that we saw anywhere. And there's Fukushima, so interesting. Uh, we do get a better guess, but what do we fucking care about? Uh, right hand side, white divider lines. There was a blue stripe on the license plates. We are in the EU. Herve Femqui. Uh, from what I could tell, no uh, fuck website. Sometimes things just don't work out. Uh, we do have language that we've skipped. Uh, that's French. Fuck. Just had to be the French. All right. Uh, we have a bridge. It's a pretty big fucking bridge. Is it pointing us to anything of importance? Uh, A10 is away from it. Blois. Whatever the fuck that means. We know we're in France. Fuck. Near a massive river in France. There's only one river I could think of. And it's the one that goes through Paris. 
scene or whatever. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of them. Hell, we could even go to Bordeaux, and it could be this one right here. Can we find anything anywhere, like on this, Navit Centerville? Navette? So it's a town called Navette? Because Centerville means they're bringing you to the center, right? So Nantes would be Navette? Nancy? Maybe there's an actual town called Navette? Maybe Navette is a made up word and we're looking for bullshit. Service.com, Rue de Mardu, Villa Baru, and Sarl. I, I don't know. I don't really know anything about France. They never. Yeah, it says Orleans. We'll go to Orleans then. Uh, that's right there. Does Orleans have a river that goes through it? Kinda. Fuck. This is the biggest bridge. We'll go there. Fuck it. 50 seconds. Doesn't matter. Uh, it ends up being Blois. B L O I S. I think we saw that on the sign. I don't think I've ever heard of that being a name. We chose the right river. We chose the right region. Why wasn't I looking for phone numbers? French phone numbers, super easy to learn. One, two, three, four, and five. Estonia? Especially with that E. Could be Latvia, Lithuania. We don't have any bollards right now, and we do have town names, uh, but definitely the Baltics. Let's go to Latvia for right now. I know I said Estonia, uh, but, you know, things happen sometimes. 13 to get blur. More blur. Mazikar. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. Uh, let's stick it in. Nah. No, it probably it has the Lithuania S's and the Z's. It's so Lithuania. We'll go into town. This says, Welcome to Blur. Perv in Nai. Pervenai. We have bollards. Yeah, take that as you will. Uh, we have the fucking triple stone pillars. It's not a bad looking town. It's just in the middle of fucking nowhere. What are you supposed to do at that point? And the town's done. Congratulations. You're now losing Perfernani. Uh, some abandoned buildings. Probably some Cold War era fucking structures. Uh, and we're kind of limited to where we can and can't go. We can't even manipulate to go the way we want. So let's return to start. And let's head down uh, this road west. We could probably just guess and not have to deal with the remaining minute and a half of us not finding anything. But where's the fun in that, right? What if we do find something? If we do find something, then we look like an idiot. I mean, if we, if we don't find anything... And we're just on this dirt gravel road for the next minute. Uh, we might just want to pluck our eyeballs out. Because there's nothing fucking here. Do we just look at the cows? Is this a Junko stream now? Maybe. Is, ah? Uh, is there a way? I know giraffes you can. Is there a way to tell where you are located geogra like geographically based on the patterns on a cow? Now, I did mention just now, it is possible to do that with giraffes. Obviously, cows are a little different, but if you're able to do it with giraffes, it would make sense that you would be able to do it with other creatures that have spots like that. So that that could be something that we look into. Pervenai, we've already gone five kilometers. I can't even see what's going down this, this road. But we'll, we'll try it out. We'll see what this sign says. This sign is pointing us to Pervenai. Why is everything so fucking blurry, man? It's just, it's not fun. Uh, and hey, look, we made it into a town. No, we didn't. It's just a random house. Cool. Lithuania. North Lithuania. Uh, Scribble's getting a perfect score. Fuck. Well, we didn't win. Uh, Scribbles in first place, 24,267. Calamity in second, also going with the Lagos area of Nigeria. Everywhere else, pretty much getting spot on. Uh, we came in third. Not great, not terrible, 22,358. 
and then Bo in fourth, going with Taiwan instead of Hong Kong, and Lagos instead of Accra. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, obviously, we we need to improve in, in recognizing town names, uh, which seems to be the biggest struggle we always have. But that's going to be where we call it. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we should have a video out on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to try and do Brain Fart Wednesdays, I guess. Uh, and I'll keep you guys posted if I am traveling or not and what to expect for that Monday and that Tuesday. But until tomorrow, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And bye-bye.